Hey, Philip. Uh, Frank Reich took a lot of responsibility for the first interception, saying he had the wrong formation or the wrong play. But can you take us through the two interceptions that, uh, you know, obviously had a big impact on the outcome? Yeah. Um, no, I mean, shoot. Uh, I think it's uh, us as players and just from my time with Frank, he's always going to uh, do his best to, to, to shield us from the blame when he can, you know, but shoot, ultimately the ball's in my hand. Um, you know, the corner just came off the came off of the outside receiver, which um, they had not shown, and then they really didn't show again. We kind of we didn't allow them to do it again based on some of the different concepts we used moving forward after that play. So um, whether it was two man and he trapped it or not, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I thought the guy was out of there, and he will, he wheeled back and, and made a play. I felt him right as I was letting it go. So obviously that was a big one, the one late to Paris. I just thought Paris was going to cross his face. He was trying to cross his face. I just thought he could beat him to the spot um, there on that third down. And then obviously the defense did a heck of a job getting a stop three and out right there and giving us another shot. Um, but I think it's really what I said early in the week is when come down to turnovers and, and, and penalties, I said pre-snap, but turnovers and penalties and then just our fundamentals and technique. I mean, there was a play uh, really before the first fourth down we went for uh, when it was 14, having a chance to make it 14 to nothing that, um, I mean, I missed – Jack, I just I, I, I kind of jumped jumped my eyes off of him and threw a threw a you know a short end over there to to Zach. We got five yards, but Zach scored. I mean, Jack scores a touchdown. I mean, a gimme. It's four. It should have been fourteen to nothing. So it's things like that where just discipline with my eyes, and then the turnovers and then the penalties that that stalled drives. I mean, I know we went for a couple fourth downs, but we didn't punt today um, and had whatever we had five hundred seven yards offense. So, uh, but the name of the game is score more points than the other team. We didn't get that done. It's early in the season. Obviously, we uh, got a long way to go in a lot of areas we can improve in, but I think we'll do, get that done. So, uh, a lot of positives today, but ultimately didn't well Thank enough. You. Mike Wells. Hey, Philip, you, when we talked to you early in training camp, you made a mention. You said, hey, you know, you're still going to be aggressive, and, and you're also, but at the same time, you got to realize when a throw's not there. Do you feel like on either one of those throws, you were trying to be too aggressive or? It just one of those just misreads. Yeah, no, I mean, the first one, again, I, it was uh, – I mean, you can say they fooled me, but I, I, they really didn't. There was something they had not shown the corner falling off in any too deep – two man or anything they had done. Now, whether, again, whether it was two man or not or whether it was just a carry and then he turned not to get over the football schematic with you. But um, So, the first one, I, I, I have to chalk it up to. They got us. You know, they got us. The second one, I don't I don't really think uh, – yeah, it's probably one I'd pull back now, but it wasn't uh, thrown with the intention of I was being reckless. Uh, I could I probably – if I had it back again, I would either throw the swing to Naheem or get back to the end cut uh, to Pittman or Zach on the other side. I think it was Pitt on the other side. And then we'll have a – be faced with a fourth down, you know, where we could have gone for it there with whatever it was, five minutes left, or we could have punted. Um, but, again, I, those are those are decisions you're having to make there in the heat of it. And, um, you know, certainly uh, – Certainly, those turnovers hurt, but um, I don't think you're going to see any. You know, I, I, I mean, I, you can call us frustrated a little bit because we expected to win the game, and 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 uh, in, in a lot of ways, probably should have. But uh, the guys are shoot. We got a lot to be excited about. We just got to put our head down and keep working, and and uh, we're in this thing for the long haul. Bill Erickson, Philip, beyond the interceptions, what um, what else do you think played into you guys? Just, I mean, you guys had so many yards and only 20 points. What else do you think played in that? Again, it was, but we had penalties in the red zone. Uh, again, I, I, if I, I, on, a, on a completion to Zach, if I throw it to Jack, we score, and it's 14 to nothing. Um, and then the penalties in the red zone. I mean, I, that's the only thing I can point to. I mean, we didn't punt the football. We scored 20 points. We weren't great on third down. Obviously, we had two, third, two, four, uh, two or three fourth downs we went for it and ended up converting, however, whether it be penalty, one one we completed to Jack, uh, one was penalty, obviously one was late uh, to TY there at the end. Um, so, weren't, I mean, 27 first downs. Again, I, I can go down three, here, but I, it's ultimately came down and we turned it over and we had penalties in the red zone. Uh, 27 first downs and 450 net yards, you'd usually feel pretty good about that. But if you if you have, if you kill yourself and, and turn it over, then you can get beat 27 to 20 or whatever it ended up. I think that's what it was. Go three more, Stephen Holder. Hey, Philip. Um, just kind of a, a broader question, not just about today, but um, you know, when you're when you're new, you're especially a quarterback. You're the big free agent signing, whatever. 
contract, whatever, how much pressure comes with that? And, and not to say you can't deal with that, right? You've been at the forefront all your career, your entire career, but just how much of, of that do you feel, you know, after a game like this at all? Well, I don't, I don't know that I feel any, I think I've always, you know, there's always pressure comes with this position, but it's always also your perspective and how you look at it. I mean, I think it's part of playing, playing quarterback. Um, and it's part of what makes it great. It's part of the life lessons you learn from it. Um, but yeah, being, I think this team, this, I speak of this team because a lot of these guys have been through highs and lows together, but I, I haven't been through it with, with them, but it's, it's really not about me at all. Um, I, I, I would hope that, over you know last 16 17 years that that you earn some trust and respect from afar as far as how you're going to compete how you're going to fight till the end i mean i I don't think that that will be doubted and then collectively as a group we just put our head down and go i mean again i it's a it's a uh it's a frustrated locker room because uh we expected to win the game but it's also a very motivated and uh looking forward locker room that we know what we're capable of, and it's just a matter of, again, uh, keeping our head down and, and, and moving forward. We'll go two more. Zach Kiefer. Bill, you guys were rolling early. You are the first touchdown drive, then you march right down, you're on the five-yard line or whatever it was, and the fourth down doesn't work. And then it looked like a different game from there. What changed, and, and did the Jags just step up and make plays? Because it seemed like a different game. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know that – I mean, I don't know that it was too different. I mean, we, we, we – again, then we turned it over. Uh, then we converted uh, some third downs, and we had to miss field goal. And then uh, due to some red zone penalties. And then we had it with a minute left and went right down the field and, and made a field goal. So, I mean, I don't know that it completely changed. Um, uh, and, again, I go back to that for that second drive when uh, uh, it's probably the uh, – Speaking personally, it's probably the play I'm most aggravated about pers- from a personal standpoint. It's not the two interceptions. It's the, it's the, it's the completion that got us to third and two. And, uh, um, you know, if I throw it to Jack Doyle, it's 14 to nothing. And who knows how, that, how it ends up. Last one here, George Bremer. So you kind of touched on this a little bit off and on. Obviously, you had the yards and you had the first down. You didn't get the points. What needs to happen in the future to finish some of these drives and, and put more points on the board? Um, not turning it over and, and not having penalties in the red zone. I mean, I'm sorry to keep saying it, but I, I just don't really know what else there was. I mean, um, I, again, I, I know we went forward on some fourth downs, but uh, we didn't punt. We didn't punt, and we only scored 20 points. And we, we, we were, you know, I mean, I'm sitting here trying to look at it. Well, we were per play. I mean, we were – we're, roll, we're rolling, uh, but the name of the game is score one more point than the other team. And, and so, again, penalties in red area, turn the football over. That, that'll keep you. You can look up and, and see all the yards you want, but if you do that, that's going to keep you out of the end zone and ultimately keep you from scoring enough to win.